I could not get to him. The American was in a disco, but I have not seen her since. No, Logan is not here. I do not know how he got away. All right. Back to headquarters. There has been change of plans. Well, looks like the jig's up. So, welcome back to Siphon Filter 2, everybody. We're still on the streets. Gregorov has left... Oh, <laughs> well, apparently not. Gregorov has left the streets and entered um, Volkov Park. He hopes to lose you in the fog and darkness, but keep after him. If he escapes, any chance of getting a cure for Siphon Filter is lost. Okay, this this mission is not bad. There's, um, you know, a couple of fuck factors where they really flick the shit switch, but we, we should be okay. First one is straight off the bat. Don't know why, but that guy always seems to light that um, car up. No idea why. This guy will run out and take pot shots at you, which is kind of annoying. One of the best ways I've found to deal with this guy is to nade him. However... That must have got him. You can't just throw the nade here. Because even though that's supposedly snow, the grenade will just fly off. So you have to try and roll the grenade into him. Anywho, that will work for now. Right, Gregorov, we're coming for you, bitch. One foot full of snow at a time. Now, Gregorov is kind of acting a little bit bizarre considering that him and Leanne are supposed to go quite quite far back yeah that's what happens um, with dealing with Gregorov he is really inconsistent <laughs> to be honest with like how you can deal with him uh, kind of annoying if I'm honest but that's okay that's okay let's try and hit that grenade there see if that's going to roll See what I mean? It literally just disappears off into the distance. That should have taken him out. Grenades in this game kind of suck, but you can get used to them. You know. Right, let's try this again without Mr. Gregorov taking our heads off. He is a bit of a bastard. Not, um, not his number one fan. Let's just say that much. Now he runs off into this like weird little fort up here. Obviously there is trees and cover that we can kind of use to our advantage, but it's really not an exact science. Uh, sometimes his shots are just gonna land and there's nothing you can do about it. All right, that's fine. Let's wait for him to disappear. Now, we're gonna do something a little bit experimental here. Because this bit kind of sucks. Oof. He's going to throw hundreds of men at us. And when I say hundreds of men, I mean he's going to throw like five. But that feels like hundreds of men in this game. Luckily, a well-placed grenade, I think, took out a couple of them. Would have rather it took out a couple more, but never mind. We still got that grenade round as well, and you better believe. <sighs> you better believe we're going to be using that later. Once more, we're feeling. Right, that guy sucks, and that guy in the corner sucks even more because he'll actually start throwing grenades at us. And you better believe, if that starts happening, you're going to have a bad time. Right, let's grab up some armor. And some handgun ammo. If you're wondering why I'm using the 45, it's because, to be honest, it's just really good. It's got plenty of punch to it. And um, it fires pretty fast, and it's quick and snappy to aim. So, it is one of my more preferred weapons. Now, we're going to get into the sneaky sneak of this forest. In this forest, there's loads of enemies walking around. Um, they're not very smart. And to be honest with you, I don't even know 
if these guys are, are gonna f like capable of fighting back i'm going to assume that they are if you get too close to them but uh for obvious reasons i've always avoided getting too close to them i don't know man he was alerted and he was just like catching flies so yeah maybe these guys aren't really aware of their own existence and I don't mind. Yeah, that definitely was a miss. Yes, yeah, so these guys only have pistols as well, which is good. Now, we're going to come up to another bit like this a little bit later on, and they are going to have rifles. And again, with the exception of one of them, I don't know if they can even fight back, but we're not going to tempt fate. We're just going to get in do our stuff and get out which is the normal procedure now let's just check the map I do get a little bit turned around here because obviously it's dark no nope, that's not the way we're going <clears throat> also I would assume is that the way we're going that I think that's the way we're supposed to be going I would assume that this coffee rum isn't helping as much as I believe it is But hey, added a bit of challenge, huh? Okay. Yeah, we're going to the right. Now, this one is where things get a little bit spicy. Alright, so Gregorovs is going to take his anger out on the um, lights in the park. Which, to be honest, I'm guessing that gets paid for by tax, tax rubles. So, it's not great. But... You know, we're, we're not resident of this country, so it shouldn't really bother us that much. Now, this guy here sucks. <laughs> he is incredibly, incredibly accurate. But everybody else here isn't too much to worry about. Now, pay attention to what Gregorov just did. The fact that he just shot out all of the street lamps. Uh, as funny as it is, that's important. And you need to remember that because there is another very short mission after this one. And we're going to add it on to the end because it's so short, it's, it's borderline pointless and not. Right. Oh, you bastard. Yep, if he gets that second shot off, you're dead. Ooh, eat shit, my friend. Gobble that stuff up like the greedy bastard you are. Okay. So. There's actually a lot of enemies here. And they all have sniper rifles. But, fortunately for us, they are extraordinarily stupid and blind. I don't know why... Uh, I don't know whether this area is supposed to be technically in the dark, but it was just never programmed in. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. But these guys are literally no threat at all. Which is good. Because it means we get to move on quicker and collect ammo for our mighty night vision rifle. So... We're not going that way. Actually, I believe we've just gone past the way we're supposed to be going. Come on, Leon. I don't know why I'm moaning at her. I'm the one here sipping coffee rum uh, in the nice warm gaming room. Well, she's out on the mean streets of Moscow. A little bit one-sided, I suppose. Okay, now this bit. This bit. Yeah, this bit sucks. Like in the beginning of the level where they just charge loads of enemies at us. That happens here as well. But these guys are awfully accurate. <laughs> yeah, so remember that one grenade round we kept? Yeah. That's a spicy meatball. Wakey, wakey, motherfuckers. Uh, we don't care. 
Yeah, that bit can be really bloody rough otherwise. But there's the end. And I am going to pour more rum. So we are going to go straight ahead and continue. Because uh, this next bit, this is kind of like a boss fight. Well, it is a boss fight, but it's so um, short, there's no point in leaving it to its own video. <clears throat> However, I do like this. Now, I was stuck on this uh, level for a little while until the penny drops. Remember what I said about shooting out the lights? Very important stuff. So, Gregorov has stopped running and has turned to fight. You have to incapacitate him with your taser, but he's armed and ready to kill. So be cautious. You may need to create a distraction to get the upper hand. Mm-hmm. All right, Gregorov, we are really coming for you now. I've cornered Gregorov. He's not going down without a fight, but we need to keep him alive. Do you read? Gabe, do you read? <laughs> So it looks like Gabe's still out. It's just us. Well, there are four lights around. And we need to take them out. Now, Gregorov... Well... He knows what he's doing. Let's just say that. If we don't take those lights out... Uh, there's no way you can deal with him. Because obviously we need to sneak up and tase him. Now, I... Don't know if he's completely in the dark. <laughs> Looks like he still can shoot us, but luckily we were just a little bit quicker. Hey, where have you been? Are, are you all right? We're fine. We may lose the deductible on our rental, though. I'm in the park at the Cossack statue. I've got Gregorov. On the way. Gabe, I know why Gregorov's been acting so strange. Why is that? Miss Lianzing, I'm Vladimir Nidobry of the SVR. I'm afraid you must come with us. But this isn't who you think it is. This isn't Yuri Gregorov. He's an imposter. Yes, we know. Oh. Well, the pieces are starting to fall into place there a little bit, aren't they? Explains why Myra was uh, a little bit off with him. And it explains why his own men were trying to kill him. Hmm, because it wasn't him. Or, did they think it was him? And they actually are trying to assassinate him. Ah. All will be revealed in the next parts. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.